Welcome everybody to Big Brain Puzzles. I am MBW Champion, and today we are going to be playing Orbit. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, um, this is actually the new look. Uh, kind of did a, a, a makeover of um, of this series. I used to call it uh, just MBW Champion plays Sudokus. Whatever, whatever I was doing, but we rebranded it. It is Big Brain Puzzles, and what this is is basically I am playing a puzzle uh, for the first time and kind of doing a blind uh, let's play solve, if you will, um, of this uh, Sudoku puzzle. Um, the Sudoku puzzle is not like normal Sudoku Sudoku puzzles. It has other rules in uh, that we'll just go um, over in just a moment. But I wanted to let you guys know in the description below, there is a link to the puzzle. So if you wanted to play along or if you wanted to pause the video, play it yourself or just watch me uh, fail at this, you could do however you want. Um, it's 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 your your oyster at the end of the day. Right. So let's go ahead and get into the rules and see what the heck this puzzle is, because there's a lot of there's a lot going on, as you can see on the screen. So. Standard Sudoku rules apply. So the digits one through nine appear in every row, column, and box. So if you haven't played Sudoku, basically digits one through nine is in a column, one through nine um, in a row, could be in any order, just can't repeat. And in a grid with those solid black lines, uh, one through nine um, cannot repeat. But there's other ones. Uh, so we have um, orbital whispers, which are shown as navy blue lines. Uh, basically, it means that adjacent digits along an orbital whisper line must differ by at least eight, which is going to kind of give us a little bit of a hint on what direction this is going to go, most likely. Um, but basically, as you go along this, if this was, uh, say, for example, a one, this has to be um, eight digits from that, so it has to be a nine, right? So that's basically how that works. Along this right here, whatever is neighboring this has to be eight digits away from the digit that it is. Um, I actually never heard of this. What What is this? Um, Corpiki? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, pairs. I didn't know that these actually had a had a name. I always just call them white dots and black dots. But basically, uh, digits in cells separated by a black dot are in a two to one ratio. So uh, this, for example, if this was a um, a two, then this would have to be a two to one ratio. So this can either be a one or it could be a four. And that's how you kind of do that. Uh, digits in that are separated by a white dot are consecutive. Dun, dun, dun. Consecutive. Um, not all the dots are necessarily given. Okay, so so what, what that means is, you know, if these are consecutive, as you know, one um, could be consecutive to two, but two can actually be next to a three as well, right? Um, but we can also have like a one right here. Um, and the dot is not necessarily showing it, but it could still work. In other words, that's what that rule is saying. And then the diagonal uh, digits along the marked diagonal cannot repeat. So this is kind of like a, of another Sudoku. Uh, uh, one through nine cannot repeat in that diagonal line. And I believe that's all the rules. Yep. Okay. So that's all the rules. Let's go ahead and get started. And... Uh, and see, uh, see us fail really good. So let's go. All right. So, uh, first place, first class, first place that I probably want to start is these, uh, these Navy, um, orbital whispers. Um, since it says that their uh, digits, uh, have to separate by eight, the only possible solution to that is a one and nine, right? Because, if it's a two, then it would go to 10 and that's not a digit that you can choose. So, so in other words, this right here is always going to be a one or a nine, one or a nine, because it'll be like one, nine, one, nine, or nine, one, nine, one. So we don't know what it is, but we at least know that there's 
um, a one or a nine. So I'm going to do that to all of the the navy blue, if you will. Um, and I wonder if that's going to tell us something. Um, what it's what, what it does tell us is that there can't be a one or a nine anywhere else in the grid because the grid has two in here. And that's probably what's going to show up um, for this puzzle. Uh, let's see if there's, so we have all the one nine here, one nine, one nine, one nine, one nine, one nine, one nine, one nine. So it's just this one right here. So the only two places that I see, because again, this row has it, this column has it. So in other words, these are the only two areas, or so only four areas that a one and a nine can be. I was gonna label that, but we also need the digits one through nine in this line. And since these uh, one and nines are not in these two grids, that means it has to be in this um, in this box, this grid. So the one and nine go here. Um, now, what I think is going to happen is now that we know it's consecutive um, next to a dot. So say, for example, this one nine, if it's consecutive, it's either going to be a two or a um, eight. I think that's going to be true with all of them yet. Yeah. Okay. So any of them that have a one nine next to it. Well, there's there's actually a lot of them. <laughs> In that one. Okay. Did I get all of them? I think so. If not, I'll label them a little bit later. So that's going to be either a two or eight. I did notice that there's um, other ones that reach here. Um, since the one and the nines are in all of those um, grids already, that means this has to be a three or a seven that's next to the two and eight. So if it has a dot next to the two and eight, I need to label it as so. Three and a seven. What I think we're going to need to do on this puzzle, now that I'm kind of looking at it uh, with just a whole bunch of numbers, I don't think we're going to get any digits anytime soon. I'm going to tell you why. Um, we know that like the one nine and one nine are in the same row. We know that the two eights are in the same row, right? But I can't tell you if this is going to be a two, this is going to be an eight or whatever, unless I kind of color them in. Like, and then once we figure out the digit, it'll be easier to kind of see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this a color. Let's see what colors we have. I'm just going to do normal pink. Um, so say for example, if this is pink, what I'm saying is pink is going to represent either one or nine. We don't know what it represents yet, but what it does mean is that this digit cannot be pink because if this is a one, that means this must be a nine, right? I'm going to mark that as blue. Um, so what this is going to do is it's actually going to show us which ones are going to be pink and which ones are going to be blue. So... Here's our pink, here's our blue, here's our pink, here's our blue, here's our pink, and here's our blue. Um, I don't know if this is going to kind of show... Uh, we may not be able to... Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to confidently say what the 1 and 9s are. But what this also means now that I just think about it, is if it's consecutive, so say, for example, if we determine that it's one, right? That means the one has to be next to a two and three and so on, right? Or if it's a nine, it goes eight, seven. So in other words, it's either going to be all low numbers or it's going to be all high numbers. So in this case, I can say 
that if this is pink, this and let's just say that that means low or it could be high, but let's just say it's low for this sake. If this is low, that means the number next to it is also low. And the number to that is also low. In other words, if it's pink, it, it's next to a pink. So I'm going to label those. So I bet you that's going to uh, kind of resolve a little bit of things. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with blue. So anything that's marked like that is going to be um, also marked like that. <laughs> right? Okay. So with that, what we can say is this 2.8 and this 2.8 means that the pink 2.8 is down here. I don't know if I want to say pink. I don't know if I want to label it as pink, but I'm just going to say the 2 and the 8 has to be down here. What this also means is that this is not the pink one, right? So this means that this is blue. And because this 1.9 is consecutive with it, that means this is blue. So in other words, this is going to do that. This is going to turn that like that. And there we go. And this 2.8 uh, pink sees this. So that means the 2.8 pink is here. Get rid of those little, little ones right there. Um, this 2.8 is also consecutive. We have a 1.9 already. So this is going to be a 3.7 pink. And let's let's see if we could do a little bit more Sudoku with that. So uh, two eight pink, two eight pink is going to be here. This two eight sees that, so this is the two eight pink. And same logic here. This is going to be our um, three seven pink. Uh, let's see if we could do anything else with the pink and the. Uh, this two eight sees that. Well, of course. It also has to be consecutive too. I just missed it. Um, but this right here sees that. Just trying to show you uh, this grid right here. So that means that the 2-8 uh, pink has to be one of these two. This 2-8 has to be here. So there we go. So 2-8 pink goes here. And the 2-8 pink goes here. Is that all the 2-8 pinks? Oh, it is. Nice. Okay. Uh, I mean, can we do anything with the 37? Let me see. 37 or 3 and 7. I don't know why I'm saying um, 37. 3, 7. Uh, 3, 7 pink is on these two. So that means this is the 3, 7 right here. Uh, we do know that this is, um, you know, the pink, uh, either one nine, pink two eight, pink three seven. So that means this would have to be a, f a four six pink. And let me see, thirty seven or three seven, three seven, three seven. I don't know why I keep on saying thirty seven. Um, three seven goes here meaning the four, six goes here. These are both pink. Um, and I think we kind of uh, told ourselves this since the 30 set or three, seven can't be in these and it can't be in here. This is the three, seven pink right here. Also, we never labeled these ones. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, back to the 3.7. I think I got all the 3.7 pink. Yeah, no, it's perfect. Um, cool. All right. What next? What next? Okay, so the let's, maybe the 4.6. Four, 4.6 six. Four, six pink. Since this 4.6 pink sees this, and this 4.6 sees this, that means the 4.6 is here. What it also says is this four six is in this grid, meaning it can't be one of these two. So the only two that it can be is here, but then this sees that. So this is the four six pink. 
and that sees that. This four six sees that. So this is our four six pink. We're actually doing pretty good with this with this puzzle. I feel like we're like moving. We're we're chugging along. This is a uh, four six because of Sudoku four six pink that is. Um, this is going to be one of the four sixes. I don't know which one yet. This is going to be one of the four sixes, and this is going to be one of the four sixes. So I don't, I don't know. I don't even know if I should be labeling it, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. It's fine. Um, this two eight right here. Let's go to blue. This two eight. Um, this one sees this, so that means it's it's going to be one of these two. Um, because this is in the the dot, the black dot, this has to be a two one ratio. So in other words, it's either going to like if it's a two, like if one of these is a two, um, it has to be a one or a two. But the ones are already taken here right so that means it's going to be a two or a four and then the other option is it's either going to be an eight or a four so in other words this is always going to have a four no matter what we don't know two or eight wise but four we know for sure is going to be here and what that tells us is if this is absolutely four this is a six this is a six so that means all the pink uh, four sixes. <laughs> we're already we're finally gonna get our digit. Um, all the the pink digits are high, so that means this is a six. Um, let's do the thirty-seven or three seven. I keep on saying thirty-seven. I don't know why I keep on doing that. Um, did I get all of them? No, that one. Okay. Um, that one's a seven. Uh, one next to that, um, again, these pink two eights are a eight. So I'm going to highlight all those and put eight. And then the one uh, that is the one nine pink is going to be our nines. I feel like I got all of them. Let's see. Nine. Um, and then vice versa, all all these uh, blue uh, one nines are going to be a one. The two eight blue is going to be a two. I think I got all of them. Um, and then the three seven is going to be three. All right. Uh, and then let's just clean up the ones that I missed. Um, so obviously these are the, the high digits. Um, so label that. All right, cool. All right, since there's a high eight right here, we know for sure that the eight is not here. So this is a two four pair right here. Let's get rid of that. Eh. Yeah. Which means uh, we have our digits here, which are going to be a three or a five. This three sees this, so this is our five. I was gonna like do some like pencil marks, but I, I don't actually think we need to. I think this puzzle is basically solved. Um, in this diagonal all the way across, uh, the only digit that's missing is a four. This is a five. Uh, to finish the Sudoku, that is. Um, let me see what's missing here. Um, so a two's gonna go here because we know the two can't go here, right? So this is a two, three. But the two sees that, so this is a two. This is a three. And the only other digit that it's missing is a five, I want to say. Yep, five. Uh, meaning this is our three. Three, because of Sudoku. Um, this uh, two, four is seeing this, so this is our four. And then this is our five. This finishes out this, which is, I believe, a. I was gonna say nine, but no, the nine's right here. It's just, it's just like the the line is kind of like seeing that portion, so I didn't. It was kind of fumbled a little bit, um, or I almost fumbled. I mean, um, all right. Anyways, 
clean that up a little bit. Okay. Back to just solve it, like putting in numbers. Um, this is our five. This is our four, which is going to put four here. We do have digits that we need to do right there, but we'll conclude it right now. Um, this is a two. Yeah. I'm guessing this is a four or um, three and a five. Excellent. Okay. So this three um, is seeing that uh, with Sudoku. I'll, I'll show you right here. These threes are seeing this. So this is our three. And this is going to be a two or a four. But if you look to the right, there's a two. So this is a four. So that's going to be our two. That's our four. And I'll just, I'm just going to get rid of all these, uh, these things. It's already basically solved. Um, all right. So back to my numbers. Um, all right. So three again, a bottom. Um, and then this top one is seeing that. So this is our three. Uh, Six is seeing this, so this is our six, that's our five, that's our six. Um, six is seeing that, five is seeing that, five, and then two. And there we go. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't know, I'll stop this stopwatch. <coughs> but we did that in 17 minutes, basically. Um, nice. I don't know how to stop the timer. <laughs> This is new. I, I, I did a new look for this big brain puzzle uh, uh, thing. So um, I have to figure out how to stop the stopwatch. And I, apparently I don't. I know how to like reset it, but apparently I'm not going to be able to. Um, anyways, that's just going to keep on going. Um, but anyways, I thought that was a really good puzzle. Um, um, I think it was good that like I caught on to obviously like we needed to color these. Um, and really the breaking point was once you got here, once you can solve that one, um, uh, black dot and see that the common denominator is a four that kind of broke apart the whole puzzle. And then from there it was, uh, you know, cake, right. Um, but super fun. I, I really enjoyed this, this puzzle. Hopefully you guys had a chance to, uh, play it and, uh, you know, or, <laughs> You know, I always like like if like people are yelling at the screen and being like, like, what in the world? You didn't see that easy thing. So hopefully I didn't give you guys too much worry on that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Every other Sunday, we will do another big brain puzzle um, using our big brain and, uh, you know, solve these uh, cool little Sudoku um, um, unique puzzles that these people um, make because like these um, designers that are making these puzzles are freaking fantastic. And this one is, um, definitely another fantastic puzzle. So again, thank you good sir for making the puzzle, allowing us to play this. Um, and again, please subscribe, please leave a comment, you know, like the video, do all the stuff that, you know, helps my channel and stuff like that. Hopefully giving you guys this content, um, makes your day, um, a little, a little more happier. Um, you know, that's, it's entertainment portion. Like I love to give. So hopefully you guys um, like it. And if you guys do give me a, give me a like, you know, uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time for another big brain puzzles. Yeah. Using our uh, b b b b big brain. <laughs> All right.